There was frost on the car this morning for the first time this year, but that's all right because the sun is shining, which means it's perfect conditions for a big video, which a crew is coming down from Dublin to film at about noon today. First, we need to head down to our workshop to pick up a few bits of timber and head into town. The new door isn't done yet, but it's, um, it's coming along. We finally found a place to hang up a 100,000 subscriber play button, plaque, thing and it's directly over this new table I'm nearly finished. That there is my mother's fold up table she wants back and that there is the one I'm after kind of joining together. It's made out of ash and then the countertop then is made out of oak. It's all been jointed together. I still need to sand this down and oil it. But this is hopefully where I'll be editing most of my videos from now on. Either way, this is a piece of walnut I picked up yesterday. These are pieces of maple. I'm gonna make a box for my sister's birthday. I know she doesn't watch these, so I won't ruin the surprise. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna bring these down to the machine shop in Ballancolig, and I'm hopefully gonna make them a small bit thinner. There's a new stonemason after starting work down here near the workshop. And that is the latest creation, him and the apprentice Mikey are after coming up with. Looks fairly tasty, doesn't it? They're trying to repair all the walls along the driveway whilst keeping it in the traditional style, like this fella over here. That there is Lady, the landlog's dog. Here, girl. She's a bit shy now. Oh, there's a good girl. This here is one of the new gates that were installed outside the workshop yesterday and the day before. The landlord took the old gates, sent them off to be restored, and yeah, they're hanging fairly nice now anyway. How are you? Yeah. You're the man who makes Hurleys, is it? Yeah. How's it going? John was telling me about you. Yes. I'm Owen. I make a few Hurleys right, as well. Right, right. I'm just down the workshop sure. over. Oh, that's, there he is now again, Ted O'Mahony. You want to see the gear? The gear? Yeah. I'd love to see the gear. Do you want to see every time now? Um, I'd probably do uh, 10 minutes. Take two minutes, hello. How are you? Good morning. Morning, fine morning. Right, okay. You put your hurley up against the plank. Okay. Yeah. You draw it out. You draw out the hurley, right? And cut it with the bandsaw. There's the centre, there, there. Directly beneath it. Onwards to Mark Donnelly's timber yard. So we're here now, down in Mark's yard, with our timber. Mark has all these wonderful old machines and bits of cars and whatever else, but today, we're using this big planar thicknesser here just to make these fellas not as thick. So there we have it lads. Finished up our machining for this morning. Uh, they're not perfectly square or even, but I'll fix all that with a hand plane, I hope. And we can get our dovetail joint box made for the weekend. So now we're on to destination number two which is MD O'Shea's timber yard. There we go. Here we are now, MD O'Shea's. A little measuring tape inside. Now we're gonna go get our timber. Got a big ass nine by two making another workbench down the shop. There we go, car fully loaded, timber sticking out the boot. Worst comes to worst, we get to look out through a nice, new, clean windscreen. But we've done it before and we do it again. I have 20 minutes to get home and 23 minutes before the crew get here. Pressure's on. While I'm waiting, I'm gonna do a bit of work on my table here. Now, this fella is called a scraper plane and I'm using him in the place of a hand plane just because I have different planks with the grains going different directions. When I use a hand plane, I'm either going with the grain and it's great, but most of the time I'm getting tear out. Now, it's hard to make out on camera, but that's kind of this fluffy severed fibers in the wood, which you don't really want. Now, I could use my sander, but I don't really want to. I'm more of a hand tool enthusiast here. This scraper is brilliant. You can go with or against the grain. <laughs> Hold it the wrong way. You can go with or against the grain and it does a fairly good job removing that tear out for you. 
Now I'm going to go hand sanding with the grain to bring her up to 120 grit. Hello. Hi, Good. Yeah. Nice to meet you. How are you? Good now. The full crew is here or is it just I'm yourself? I'm just going to say, geez, just, well, no, I'm just, just, me, just here now. Oh, okay. I was just going to say, there's you know, something to work on right Yeah, the yeah, <laughs> there. Training and building fences and yeah, ditches. and, and so, it's so yeah. up there as uh, well. It's lovely. While well, the weather's dry, they're getting whatever that they can done. Yeah, I'll yeah. stop this fella from rolling anyway. This is for a charity called spunout.ie. We're just doing a promotional video. Supposedly, there's a couch that we're going to bring out into the fields. So that'll be cool. There they are now. Hello. How are you guys? Oh, cool. You're plushy. Are you coming in, lady? So the chair is starting to look a bit better. It's got some legs on it. What are you doing here? Um, I'm, I'm steaming the props. I am adding Prop Master to my CD knife. <laughs> Check out the setup draft for pulling up inside. Biggest soft box I've ever seen in my life. Passing the time now. A bit of sanding. How does it look? Bring the cushion to your side a bit more for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, and then sit back in the seat. And then scoot your bum. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Cool. We're just about getting ready to shoot now. You should see we have the mic set up. Lights absolutely everywhere. This giant here. Big contraption of a camera then. I think the little devil who was eating our tea bags might have succumbed to the poison we laid down. So it's uh, getting a bit dark out, but that doesn't really seem to matter because they've got this big ass light outside that they're shining in through the window. So cool. New gate is looking fairly well. Bit of our own stuff now. <laughs> Paparazzi then through the window. Mikey and Scott both flat at it. The wall looking absolutely magnificent. Right now we're just going around the place getting a bit of b-roll. There I am now posing against the wall. Hey lady, how are you? Are we going to the sinkhole? There it is now. Just appeared in the ground. One it's day. Huge. It's huge! <laughs> nice. well, be careful though. <laughs> but I want to see it. At least 20 feet deep, like. That's so cool. That's some good B-roll for you. So we finished up our filming with Spun Out at about 5 o'clock. I'm on my way up to Limerick now to meet with a blacksmith to collect some hardware for the door. His name is James O'Connor and he's a fantastic blacksmith. It'll be 7 o'clock before we get there, so it'll be pretty late, but hopefully James might be willing to give us a quick tour of his workshop. So here we are now in James's forge. We're here at the anvil and these are the hardware he's after forging to go and lock the door back of the workshop. He's just gone inside now to get something, but he says he's going to throw on a fire for us and do a bit of forging. So this should be fun. James would probably be best known for his wrought iron gate restoration. This one in particular was forged originally before 1852 and he's just after restoring it here now and it just looks incredible. 
But that there is a mild steel gate that James has forged traditionally and he's just painted it red. For all the shows we did over summer, James used to drag this gate with him, so it's a few miles on this one and I think it's up for sale. Do a horseshoe love heart. Horseshoe love heart. This is a small one.
was going to head back to work, but uh, it's half ten now, so I think I'm going to call it a night. We're back here at the original workshop, where it all started in the parents' garage. That was a cool demonstration from James O'Connor. He does uh, workshops where you can go and learn how to smith with him uh, for a day. So you can find him on Facebook at James O'Connor Blacksmith, or if you want to buy any of his pokers, or his gates, or any of his pieces, you can go contact him there. And there we have it. That was an unusual day in the life. Goodbye and good luck.